Good morning, boys and girls. We are glad you can join us for Children's Time. Today, we will be talking about forgiveness, forgiving others as God forgives us. Do you know what the most popular sport is in the whole world? If you said soccer, you are right. Everyone loves a soccer game. And if you play soccer, you know there are many rules. If a player kicks the soccer ball while the goalie is holding the ball, that's breaking a rule. And the referee will give the player a yellow card. That's a warning. Don't do that again. But what happens if the player does do that again? The referee will give the player another yellow card and a red card. And that means that player is out of the game. You know when you play baseball, three strikes and you're out. Or if you play basketball, five or six fouls and you have to go sit on the bench and you can't play anymore. How many times do you think a person should be forgiven for doing something wrong? One time? Two times? In the Bible, in the book of Matthew, Matthew 18, verses 21 and 22, Peter asked Jesus that very question. Then Peter said to Jesus, Lord, how many times should I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Should I forgive as many as seven times? Jesus said, not just seven times, but rather as many as 70 times seven. Wow, that's a really big number. That's a lot of forgiving. Jesus wants us to remember to keep on forgiving. You know, Jesus died on the cross for our many, many sins. And he hopes that if we do something wrong to someone, we will remember to say, I'm sorry. And Jesus hopes that if someone does something wrong to us or hurts us, we will remember to say, I forgive you. God asks us to offer the same kind of grace and forgiveness to others as he has offered to us. There is no red card from Jesus. Let's say a prayer together, and you can repeat after me. Dear God, we are thankful that you love us and forgive us without keeping count. Help us to love and forgive others as you have forgiven us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you next week.